Good morning to you, Tucson. I'm Jose Sosaya. The My Freedom Day campaign wants to bring communities nationwide together to help stop human trafficking and child exploitation. One nonprofit with roots here hopes Southern Arizonans can learn to watch for the signs and protect vulnerable people as officers track increasing cases of sex trafficking in Pima County. Now to your sides, Reina Preciado joining us this morning. Reina, you're following not just the trends investigators are trying to piece together, but the steps we know can help people in crisis, correct? Yeah, Jose, last week I covered the first of several Pima County sex trafficking awareness classes that I will continue following. And after that first story, Lisa Hansen reached out to me. She experienced sex trafficking, but after finding out but after finding the power in her pain, she's determined to break the cycle. Now, My Freedom Day is March 16th, but she wants to get as many people involved as possible over the next couple days, and here's why. My story didn't actually start with, with human trafficking, though. My story started with sexual abuse at a very, very young age. Lisa Hansen believes this is common. The younger the child, the easier it is to get away with abuse. Because they don't have a voice, they don't, they've not been taught the signs to look for, they've not been taught who they can report to, how they can get help, they've not been taught body safety. She says the normalization of that abuse is eventually what led her to being trafficked, but she wants to make sure no other child falls into runaway, trafficking, or domestic violence statistics. I hit all three of those target points right there, and all of that could have been avoided if there had been a conversation when I was younger. Hansen mentions the study I covered last week, highlighting how trafficking can often be a method of survival for homeless youth. You talked about the homeless and the runaway youth because a lot of people consider that to be a choice that they're making, when in reality, they're trying to survive. The study shared how those who experienced trafficking actually agreed to it for a place to stay, for food, or for money. Other common methods predators use are through social media by pretending to be someone they're not. So that's why Hansen has initiated those conversations with her nonprofit, Power Over Predators. She and her volunteers are asking parents and students to join the My Freedom Day movement by making a sign and posting it to social media. And then I'm just asking, take a picture of yourself standing outside, marching arm in arm with your kid or just a little video, what have you, holding that sign that says My Freedom Day and who you're marching for. Due to the fact that it is so social media driven, right, which it's so internet driven, well, then let's use the internet for good. Let's let's take back the rights of our children and the freedom for our children on that day. Last week, Councilman Steve Kozachik said state agencies reported 50 child sex trafficking cases in Tucson last year. He says he's been working to find a robust response at the city level. So here's my sign to start the conversation for those children and to show who I'm fighting to protect with this movement. Live in studio, Reina Preciado, KGAN 9, on your side.